Hola amigos, buenas tardes, su amiga Claudia aquí. Vamos a hablar sobre basic sentence structure. Let's see if I can get this in zoom here. Okay, so basic sentence structure. The basic sentence structure in Spanish is, just as in English, is subject, verb, and object. If you don't know what object is, then there's another video on this channel that I, where I explain objects. Okay, so an example. Yo, subject, quiero, verb, un café, object. I, subject, want, verb, a coffee, object. Here's another one. Yo, subject, quiero, verb, una Coca-Cola, object. I, subject, want, verb, a Coca-Cola, object. Okay, so that's the basic sentence structure. There's another thing you need to know, and that's the, this structure, article, noun, plus adjective. Now, this is the order in which it comes in a Spanish sentence. The article goes first, the noun comes second, and then the adjective. As you get further into your studies, you'll see that there are times when you can reverse and put adjective over here and noun over here. But for now, let's stick to article, noun, and adjective. Examples, el perro negro, the black dog. El café caliente, the hot coffee. This sentence here, I will read to you in Spanish. En español, nosotros nos volvemos locos por género y número. En otras palabras, si la palabra es sustantiva, ella va a ser asignada un género. Por ejemplo, hair, el cabello, is masculine. No matter whose head it's on. Hmm. Eyes, los ojos, are masculine. No matter whose head or face they're on. Nose, la nariz is feminine, no matter whose face it's on. Nails. And these are any kind of nails. So it can be hand nails, or it can be feet nails, it can be animal nails, it can be any kind of nails. So, las uñas is feminine, no matter whose head, hands, or feet they are on. And we don't need this it, so with my handy dandy touch screen, we will remove it. Voila. Lungs, los pulmones, are masculine, no matter whose body they are in. Now, for, aside from body parts, let's look at things. Marker. El marcador. That one is masculine, but the cap, la tapa, is feminine, and the tip, la punta, is feminine. The color, on the other hand, el color, is masculine. So if you remember from your earlier lesson, la indicates female, and el indicates masculine. Wow. Talk about obsession with gender and number. Now, here's something funny. That's not even the beginning of it. We can take it as far out as a galaxy or on galaxy. La galaxia is feminine. The sun, on the other hand, is masculine. The universe is masculine. The planet is masculine. The stars are feminine. Hmm. Ay, 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 caramba. A piece of advice, when you're learning new words, especially nouns, make sure you learn them, or learn it, sorry about that, with its article. And that, by the way, you will know if, and that way you will know if it is masculine or feminine. 
okay? By the way, verbs are not assigned gender, only nouns. One thing too, please, 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 please use a good easy dictionary when you come across a word or symbol you do not understand. You can think of it and I always say it in my class, el diccionario es su amigo. Now the in Spanish, how do you say the in Spanish? The in Spanish. By the way, the part of speech for the is definite article. Remember I've said articles earlier? The is definite. That means it's the, not one of many. It's the, for example, the husband, not a husband, the husband, the one and only, not a husband, which would be one of many. So anyway, let's go back to the. The in Spanish is el for male singular. Los for masculine plural. And see how I have that in blue and then pink. Woohoo! La for feminine singular. Las for feminine plural. Now to make plural add S after la and S after the noun if it ends with a ha ha vower. What is a vower? If you know, please send me a definition of a vower in my in the comments below. It should be vow. Otherwise, add es. Now you want to get this right, right? So make sure you do it right. Okay, let's try some examples while learning new vocabulary. Let's start with some masculine nouns. Now, the reason I'm starting with masculine nouns is because masculine is the dominating gender in this language, which means it will mostly always come first. And just a little piece of advice, anytime you're not sure the gender of the noun, you know, whether it is, whether it is la, you know, pink, or it is el, blue, azul, then go with el, because again, el is the dominating gender. Hmm, okay, el niño, the boy, el adolescente, the teenager, el muchacho, the young man, el hombre, the man, El anciano, the elderly man. El hijo, the son. El padre, the father. El abuelo, the grandfather. El bisabuelo, the great grandfather. So let's keep going here. And then we have el primo. the cousin, el tío, the uncle. Then we have el esposo, the husband, el cuñado, the brother-in-law. Okay, so now more than one. Let's cover more than one. And if you remember from earlier, el becomes los and add S or ES accordingly to the noun. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that little word that I just said to the noun so everybody remembers that. And if there's any recommendations you have for me, please send them to me. I'm, I would be more than glad to add them. I'm always looking to improve. Okay, so here we go. Let's use some rosados to make a little contrast here. Los niños, the boys. Los adolescentes, the teenagers. Los muchachos, the young men. Not mans, that's incorrect. My inglés is no mucho bueno, huh? 
So let's see here. Let's erase it. The young men. All right. Los hombres. The men. Los ancianos. The elderly men. Los hijos. The sons. Los padres. The fathers. Los abuelos. The grandfathers. Los bisabuelos. The great grandfathers. And we have some more here. Los primos. The cousins. Los tíos. The uncles. Los esposos. The husbands. Los cuñados. The brothers-in-law. Ahora, femen ejemplos femeninos. Yippee! And notice how these are in pink. I am, I love pink. Is it because I'm a girl? Wow. Okay, la niña, the little girl. La adolescente, the teenager. La señorita, the young woman. La mujer, the woman. La anciana, the elderly woman. La hija, la madre, la abuela, la bisabuela. So we go up and then we have la prima, la tía, la esposa, la cuñada. And then we go up. How do we make them plural? Las niñas, las adolescentes, las señoritas, las mujeres, las ancianas. And we keep going. Las hijas, las madres, las abuelas, las bisabuelas, las primas, las tías, las esposas, las cuñadas. And that is all. Adiós.